Well, that's why she switched the names. But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Nyegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then you're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she'd planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now! Come on, hurry up and decide who did it! Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is... is it really all over? Obviously I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. <sighs> Cash duty, as something is not dying messy. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? Oh. Very well. Then let's review all the clues we found up to this point one more time. I'll let this go through Do itself. We really have time for all that. If we don't do something, we're all gonna die! There is still a le yep. Psycho hmm. left it behind. It's easy just to say hey, but there just aren't any more clues, right? No, that's wrong. Break. There still might be one clue left. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? Dining. <laughs> the dying message. She wrote something on the wall behind her, remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask, can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? There's no question Sayaka wrote the message, and I can prove it. I got it! Index finger, yo. Blood. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... A look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> Our little gray cells are really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Damn it, it's no use. I just don't know. Rotate the image 180 degrees. Huh? Rotate it? I, I think maybe, maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. 
Takazang message reveals the real killer's name. Leon Kuata. Here's my answer. Seven is an O. The key Three is an E. This mystery was yeah. simply to rotate I'll the just writing this 180 one. degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters. L E O N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. What? what the hell are you talking about? It, it's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Th that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? I know what it was. I got it! You mean, the burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt this covered in the victim's blood, quite some time. they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. May have to Isn't split this up. Right, Leon. <laughs> what? What? Uh, but is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The burnt remains of the burn up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. How is this based on? If you look closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being on the, the one on cleaning duty. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. What is it? Make your argument. Fine, I read a shattered crystal ball. Okay. The key to the trash room. I mean, it's obvious. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Huh? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash. And huh? you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. Nope. No, that's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... Uh... But how would you use it? 
The killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way, which was... Ha! <laughs> it's obvious throwing it. We need to think back to Leon's talent. He's a baseball player. Yeah. The, the aiming would be difficult, but for someone with the talent of being a baseball star, it would be kind of easy. Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Kifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least... 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right! There's no way! It'd be impossible! Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... It wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because... Baseball star, yo. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay then, Makoto. Go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely. Every case has one last element to bring to the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase, you'll be you'll give a complete summary of the case. You have to reproduce the flow of events for the case in the form of a comic book. However, you'll notice that the comic in the comic there are a number of number of pieces missing. It's up to you to complete the comic using the provided truth. Also, if you take aim at a missing section and press the left mouse button, holy cow, you'll get a hint that might lead to a breakthrough. Well then, good luck and have have fun. Closing state. Ooh. Finish the thought. Okay. My room was the scene of the crime. The incident began when the killer encountered. When the killer encountered, right? When the killer entered. Okay. Not here. First, when Sayaka was attacked, the killer with the knife. But when Sayaka attacked the killer with the knife, they noticed something in my room. It's not the golden sword isn't there. Sayaka looks so twisted there. They used that object to deflect Saika's attack, which is why with the evidence is damaged, it's not there. After the killer encountered Saika, countered Saika's attack with the at with an attack of their own, what do they do next? Not there. They forced the bathroom door open, the way they could have done that was... Not there. After she was stabbed, Sayaka used the last of her strength to leave something behind. Oh, click and drag. Awesome. Yep. The killer used an item in my room to dispose of the evidence. The object the killer threw to activate the incinerator must have been... Or... What the killer... Through in the incinerator was. And that. Wait. Uh. Hmm. 
I want to say maybe this place here? Oh! 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 Oh, this is not Danganronpa 2 all over again. Okay. First, when Saika was attacked, well, they know something about it. So that's not it. The bag. Uh... They use that object to deflect Saika's attack, which is why that... Even more here? Okay. There is something. No, so I think that is. They use that object to deflect Saka's attack, which is why the damage. After the killer encountered countered Saka's attack with an attack of their own, what did they do? of evidence left behind me. So we've got one, two, three, four more. Let's go from the start. Uh, in. And she I want to say that's right. I think I better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Okay, that's right. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. Yep, that was right. That was right. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. That was right. Awesome. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, yeah. the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka, to keep the killer oh, from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, 
but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, that'd be an impossible throw. But the killer had the confidence to take a shot. And that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Yeah. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. It would appear that Hero <sighs> simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories. You need evidence. Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit. It's bullshit, and I refuse to acknowledge it. Well, then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. Uh, our first bullet time battle is about to begin. Hmm. I don't think I've heard of this. Uh, it's panic talk action in Dunham. Sometimes during a class trial, your opponent simply won't want to hear what you have to say. When this happens, you'll engage them in a head-to-head -head battle. We like to refer to this as the bullet time battle, aka the BTB Gub. I'm gonna go with panic talk action, PTA. During the BTB, you want to destroy your opponent's statement in time with the rhythm. I am terrible at rhythm, so this is gonna be fun! Match your button presses with each, with each tempo marker as they move across the screen and reach the center. Press the right mouse button to lock onto an opponent's statement. Destroy that statement you've locked onto with the left mouse button as the tempo marker reaches the center. Use this method to deal damage to your opponent. If you can pull it off, you'll be you won't you will be if you can't pull it off, you'll be the one in pain. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side, if you keep missing, you'll get it you'll get into a tempo down situation. When the tempo changes, so does the timing for each button here. So watch out for that, okay? Deal enough damage to your opponent and their weak state weak spot statement will appear. At that point you can press the left mouse button to shoot down with a troop bullet, like any other statement. Refute their statement fast enough and you'll uh, you'll come out victorious. But just like before, you're you, yeah. Well then good luck and have fun. Okay. So this is gonna be different. When the killer broke the bathroom doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. Right, the screwdriver, the toolkit. So what did the killer use? They used their own toolkit. To acknowledge you, you're stupid, 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 stupid. I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the Figure it out. Okay. The moment of truth. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not 
Where's your proof? This should prove it. Ooh, that was difficult. <laughs> I couldn't even focus on my health. Bathroom <laughs> doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the tool kit in my room had clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid. Stupid. Well. So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished here. Results, I got an A. Wow. Whew. Tense. Did we get 95 medals? <laughs> What's a mistrial and not from constant? I want to check these achievements quickly. Let's see. I'm sorry for the probably no steam overlay. Oh, from zero to zero, from zero to hero is finished the prologue. Skilling them softly cleared the 10 SP threshold. What's a mistrial cleared a class trial without having to retry a single time, and not from concentrate cleared a class trial without using your concentration skill a single time. Looks like you okay. reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? And I cut the video here. <laughs> Leon! <laughs> uh oh! Looks like you got it right on the money! The blackened in this case, the one that killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kuwata! Huh? Hey, hold on! Uh, hold on a sec! Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But... I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong with you? I, I didn't have I... a choice. It was kill or be so, killed. That's why... I killed her first. None of you are any different. One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here. It was complete chance that I wound up like this. I was just... <laughs> unlucky. That's, that's all. all. Oh, sorry. Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth is that Saika was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. 
If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here, with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. I can't afford to be stuck in here! The one thing that was more important to her than anything else. Her dreams. Her friends. To have, to have to see something like that happen to them. Sayaka. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean, it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed, betrayed me. So when she said... She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I... I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. <laughs> Boy howdy, the entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships? Ba -bum, ba -bum. She seems so nice and lovely on the outside. But inside, she's she descended into pure madness. W what did you say? I understand, really, I do. Yup, yup. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Passion, intimacy, love. The stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us. This is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that? All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma, but... That's enough. That's enough. As angry as I was, Kitty Kitty latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm down. If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ah, that was a close one! I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good wallop. Just barely avoiding pu avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Now then, since you're so magnificently revealed, since you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial. By the way, mana coins. We did get 95. Jeez. The blackened Leon Kuwato will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Wait a second. I didn't have a choice. I had to kill her. Yeah, that's, y yeah, it. that's it. I was just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. Is that okay? How exactly was it self-defense? Mm. When you fussed your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own tool? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, you you went out of your way to head back to your own room, then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. Is it because you had an uncadaver to commit murder? So, that's why... N no, that's not... Stop it. I've had enough of it. Oh. oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, were you not? He killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. Huh? Swan! Say what? If it weren't for you, this never would have happened to Psycho or Leon. We shouldn't be fighting each other. We should be fighting against the one who put us in this situation, the mastermind. Uh-oh, did you awaken to your sense of justice? Hey, um... Well, it just so happens that there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetuate, perpe perpetuate war all over the world. Hmm. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up! Hmm. Okay, well anyway, more importantly... Kills, kills, kills. Let's hurry up and get to what everyone's been waiting for, the punishment! I'm begging you! Please, don't do this! Hey! No more begging! No more excuses! You must pay the penalty for breaking the rules! Society demands it! For Leon Kuwata, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. No. Oops. 
<laughs> Game over. Rip in peace. More of this comic style. Not comic, but this art style. It's it. In Dalian Rumper 2, it's a lot more, um, the 1000 blur, but, uh, in Dalian Rumper, it's a lot nicer because they don't have to literally be right there to witness this. <laughs> they watch it on a TV screen. That's the punishment over. And this marks the end of like episode 2 or 3 of Danganronpa, yet it's like episode, what, 18 I think, maybe? Either way, he's dead. Fun. What we saw. That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! Man, my adrenaline's pumping right out of control! Ooh, what's going on? I, I, can't, I can't take, take this it. anymore. Do we really have to keep doing this? Just can't take it. Well, well hey, if you don't like it, all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. <laughs> Damn you! What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful secret society type of guy. Or in this case, a dark, awful secret society type of bear! Um, so why are you putting an upstanding si young citizen like me through such a grueling ordeal? Hey, um... It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I just don't think it's possible. Um... Hey, uh, don't, I don't think what you, you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. Dude, shit. I don't know, I'm flipping between voices for Yamada. You piece of shit, I don't know how you- who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. What happened happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course we can't cut f free out of the outside world, being trapped in this insane p place. Hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you all learn the, once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we all get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I ran out of my coffee a couple hours ago, about an hour ago, maybe more. I'm sad. I feel like there's some deeper meaning, just like before. Anyway, let's get to the Black Ops Punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> Sorry, I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some for the fun later. <laughs> and just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no, it wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone.
No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stern, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? She moved in close and whispered into my ear. Makoto. Before we head back, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about Sayako, isn't it? I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. You wanted me You wanted me to realize how Sayaka betrayed me my by myself, didn't you? The thought never even crossed my mind. I feel like such a fool becoming such an easy target like it's that. It's true. Sayaka meant to double cross you. That's a fact you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. As she lay dying, she was thinking of you. She was thinking of me? You can't just say something like that. I mean, there's no way you can know that. Only Saika would know for sure, and we can't ask her now. However... Even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her last sounds to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Well, maybe she just wanted to get back at the person who had killed her. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think so. I don't think that's what it was. Anyway, she was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you, which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Why are you telling me all this? Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon. Keep moving forward. Correct. Without someone like that, the others would never be able to break free from such a desperate situation. Move past their deaths? That's... I could never do that. No. No. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly move past something like that? Leon. Sayaka. I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memories with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, using the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. As she said that, she revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh, well, I'm psychic. What? Huh? Kidding. Just have pretty good intuition. Chapter 1. To survive. End. <sighs> Surviving students? 12. We cut three out in the first chapter. To be continued. Jeez. You received the despair bat. One is the loneliest number. Complete chapter one? I would assume so. <sighs> Let's save data. Okay, thank you all very much for watching this, probably multiple episodes of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. That trial felt like it went on for a good two hours at least, so I'm gonna have to cut this up. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching this. I was in silence most of the time because it was all voice acted, but... A lot of it I didn't actually remember. I'm surprised how much I didn't remember. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you all in the next episode. I need to go die in a ditch, or at least my voice does now, so yeah. Bye-bye.